Sick Free Saturday. How y'all doing out there? Check it out. We wanna um we wanna talk about something that's near and dear to both our hearts, which is hell. No, real good. And but I never, I never really studied my mental health. Ooh. You know what I mean? Ooh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. You up, you up for some feathers when you start talking about that mental health. Guess what? Guess what, bro? I was like that. Like, my wife, for instance, was the first one to tell me, uh, you might need to let somebody uh, look at you. You might need to go see somebody. And I'm going to tell you right now, the first thing came to my mind. Man, I ain't crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who I need to go see. Right. In my mind, if you go talk to a psycho, you go talk to some a counselor or whatever, you had a problem. You had a mental problem. You was, oh, man, and I didn't see myself like that, man. Everything I did was by my own accord and by my own will. So I felt like, man, you know, I knew everything I was doing. So I ain't crazy, man. What you mean? I took that as an offense. Go see somebody. Is you trying to call me crazy? She's like, nah, I ain't trying to understand, man. It's a lot of things you do that's not normal. And I'm like, man, look here, man. I'm just as more normal as anybody else walking right. around out here. That's you know right. what I mean? And I went like that for a couple of years. But what had happened was I went to Washington, D.C. with this program called uh, Fair Citizen uh, of Youth. And they introduced me to a counselor. It was free and everything. Like, look, man, you know, talk to this person. And I didn't think I needed it, you know, because like I said, I ain't crazy. But as I went to open it up, I realized, and I had not been out at that time, like 10 years, man, you know what I mean, that I still had a whole bunch of trauma that I was dealing with. You know, one of the major things that I noticed, I mean, that, that hit me the most was I was afraid to cry in front of anybody. That's the first thing I learned, you know what I mean? Because growing up as a young man, you know, we are not to cry, we are not to show fear because you're soft, you know? You know, I was up under that pressure to be an alpha male, man, we don't do no crying. You know, when you can't show no weakness, we can't show no love, all that's a part of weakness. We got to be hard and tough all the time. And I, and I jumped that juice to the fullest. And I ain't never realized how long it's been since I cried in front of somebody, man. You know what I mean? But once I opened up to the counsel which I needed, and now I'm just crying over everything. I'm watching TV shows now, man, crying, man. I'm like, I'm like oh, man, am I getting older? What's happening to me now, man? I'm over. It's like all the years that I went, now I'm crying, I done caught up, man. You know what I mean? What about you? What you feel about the mental health? Man, first, first, I got to give a shout out to my guy, Scully. Right? He, um, he, a, he a mental health advocate, and he building this platform around destigmatizing. Um the need to go see a counselor every now and then, especially in the African-American community, because like you said, man, growing up, man, we, ain't nothing wrong with me. Yeah. Don't, don't go down as a stigma, and then, you know, you have all that stuff packed on you, and, 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 it, and it weigh you down. It stress you out. And that can affect um, your physical health, and it affect how you, how you um, treat other people. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, being in the G, um, G man, we talk about, you know, the need of being a man, just addressing all these different facets of what make us a man. And having, being healthy, healthy mentally is one of them. And um, so Scully, one of my accountability partners, right? And he's tagged me with finding a counselor just to unpack some things, cause like you, I've been traumatized um, by a lot of things in my life. And uh, so certain things, I don't know, we deal with it different ways. So certain things you just hold on to, but then you feel like like that you don't have anybody to talk to about it because they won't understand. You know what I'm saying? No. And then if you do find somebody to talk to about it, you just want to make sure that the confidentiality is there as well. Yeah, that, that, that too. Like, you, you, you definitely want to be able to open up. You're wasting your time if you're going and you're holding back. You're wasting your time if you're not being truthful. You know, I mean, and, and, and that's what the council was telling me. Like, man, this, this, this talk to me about, you know, this, just tell me a story and just, you know, just open up to me. And I went to talking and they went to point some stuff out out of my story. And to be honest with you, one thing about the truth, the truth, you know, you can't deny. It. You know, when you hear the truth, like you know, man, I mean, that's the truth. Like, you know, out of my story, they went to point a little stuff out, and I'm like, man, you know what? You're right. I do feel like that. You know what I mean? And then I thought back to my wife again. I'm like, man, I probably should have been when they when they seen somebody. You know what I mean? Like that don't make you crazy. It doesn't make you crazy. That's right. And in my mind, that's what I thought that you know only crazy people go and see a psych. 
Only crazy people go and talk to a counselor. That that's, that was my perception of, of, of going to talk to somebody. But really, man, it's like now, like, man, you know, I'm constantly, you know, uh, 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 I'm, I'm speaking to people 